So sometimes we feel like, um, ooh, sometimes we feel like um, it's impossible to own our dream baby. And, you know, the dream is, I don't know, like we, we always coming up with these dream babies. As soon as we get the dream baby, there's another dream baby. So um, if you are one like me, my biggest thing is sculpting. I love a very nicely sculpted doll, um, but you know, I'm not gonna really deviate from that too much, even though, you know, I like to cut costs. Um, it has to have like a realistic face, realistic hands, realistic feet. You know, I want it to have a realistic body to some extent. It may not be the most perfect one. It might not look like I just pushed it out type realism, but it has to have a look like a baby. And those kits are out there. They are still out there. Um, and you know, what I consider cute may not be cute to you. And what you consider cute may not be cute to me, obviously. Um, but, 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 um, so, okay. So if you are into the sculpting and that's what you want, Okay, and you got a whole bunch of reborns, but you don't feel like you're fulfilled with those reborns. I always say sell the reborns, buy your kit, or, you know, put down your deposit on the kit. A lot of these people, even with kits, take like 400 to, um, you know, $600 deposits, and you can make payments. Um, there's people out here that you can do 12-month payment plans. Um, that's a long time. I wouldn't do it that long but I know people that actually did it that long and they still you know wanted the baby after they got it it just depends on how you are you know how you are but in today's climate I would not do a 12 month layaway um unless you absolutely have to so I'm not gonna knock it that's just me personally a lot change in 12 months a lot of new kits come out and you just and people don't transfer kits from oh I want to switch out to your latest sculpt they don't it don't work like that so anyway, you can do a layaway for the kit. You can get the kit, leave it in the box, you know, as well inspect it and everything, leave it in the box or whatever, you know, leave it, you know, safely stored. And then you can find a, you know, find you an artist that will paint the doll for you. And that takes payments. There's also people that take three month layaway. Um, some take three to six month layaway and on customs and you can make payments that way another way which is my way i think is better even if you have to sell most of your reborns or most of your your dolls even if you're trying to get a more realistic reborn and like you got a whole bunch of like starter babies and you sell all them but you want a reborn from this like big time artist that does really hyper realistic um reborns um then, you know, you could sell them, sit the money in a savings account or whatever, and then you can, you know, just save up. And then when you get enough, when that perfect baby come up, you can you can go for it. Um, but always make sure you know that you're going to be able to complete the deal because some of these these artists are very strict and they are not going to refund your money. And sometimes you don't always win when people try to like take their money back and stuff like that. And you're just going to be losing money. And then you're like in a worse position than you were before because you lost your collateral and you lost your money. So that's something to be sure to consider when you are... Um, you know, saving up. Another thing, if you're not like all nitpicky and want this top brand or top this and you, you know, you can look in the price range of a lower kit cost and then go from there. Um, you can, um, yeah, you could, you could look for a lower kit cost. Also, there's different levels of artists that paint, you know, different prices um, there's people that charge, you know, I don't know if there's still people out there that charge, you know, seven fifty, but painting and rooting services can go anywhere from seven hundred to, and I don't think nobody really is still doing that, but last I checked, it was like more like twelve hundred, nine hundred to 
900 to ooh the the latest price I heard that someone's charging for painting and everything is like 2600 or whatever it just depends on what you're looking for um but um buy it now babies are usually going to cost you anywhere from 3000 to um 6 to 7000 from non sculpting artists a sculpting artist is usually going to charge anywhere from 7000 on up past 20000 So those are your ranges that you're looking at. And me personally, um, I am not going to really put my prices out there because I don't do customs anymore. And I don't plan to do them anymore. And I don't plan to do any private orders anymore. But my buy it now babies just depends on the kit. It depends on you know, the, the baby at hand when it's finished um, on what I charge. I'm not going to charge one flat fee regardless of how it turns out because what if the baby is not worth that flat fee? I'm not going to do that. So um, prices vary, but I don't, I'm, I'm, I will be the first to say I'm not the cheapest. I'm not the most expensive either. Um, but I feel like I put a lot into my babies um and what i try to accomplish in them um like i said i'm not perfect i'm not the best i'm not the most expensive either so um but you know if it's a customer that i've dealt with and done business with sometime i will do a short payment plan but usually i don't do layaway um a lot of times and the reason being is because I've been stuck so many times where people start out and then just say, oh, I can't do it because of this or I can't do that. And that's another thing that the community have to consider. It's not that artists don't want to work with people and stuff like that. It's just that when you've been stuck and left holding a bag or somebody, you got to, you know, return money that you've already accounted for in your budget that's a setback for the artist and people are not going to keep doing that because they got to live too. And a lot of these artists actually do this full time and that's their full time job. So they got families to feed too. So that is not just like a play hobby for them. So, you know, like I said, that's just something that a lot of people have to consider. That's why they don't do layaway. That's why I'm like, just save up your money as much as you can. And I know it's easier for me like to do go ahead and get the money gone because as the money builds up, I find other things to do with the money, you know, or if I, if it gets, the money gets too big in my account, I'm not going to lie. I'd be like, I don't, I don't want to see that money go out my account, but I'm, I'm funny like that. I'm weird like that. Um, so yeah. Um, and it, like I said, if it's one that's like a really top of the line artist that you want and the babies cost, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars, and you can almost afford it and you just got a couple babies in there that you you love but you're not like gonna die if you don't have them like it's not like one that you're gonna cry for a week when it's gone i say sell them sell them and go ahead and 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 push it push the envelope to get where you want to go um i will say a lot and i was talking to a, a collector friend about this the other day a lot of times people don't know the difference until they've experienced it. So a lot of people are like, oh, it's no difference in between these $5,000 dolls and these $20,000 dolls. And I will say there are some occasions where there are some artists out here that's doing their thing and their dolls are right there, you know, on the level as some of these artists that's charging, you know, twenty and $30,000 or whatever the case they charging or whatever. Um, and I'm not gonna name artists names and all that stuff because I I support people and I understand they gotta do their business and stuff but I'm just saying I've seen dolls in person that are very expensive and dolls that are still expensive but not that price range that look as good or better than the other ones so um it's not always about price. It's the individual doll. And every artist is going to have their day too. So let's say, you know, I could say this, but maybe I didn't see that artist's best work. You know what I mean? So, but there is a difference a lot of times. There's a difference in the quality. There's a difference in 
the level of experience of, you know, how they apply things and how seamless it is. And, you know, it's just the durability. It's just a lot. It could be a lot of differences. And, you know, on camera, it may all look the same, especially people like, and no offense guys, but some people, you know, they're taking their photos with their flip phones from 1922 and all the babies look fuzzy and just on the same level. But when you see the babies in person, one may be extremely realistic and the other one may look very blah. It might actually look like the fuzzy photo. So you really can't say, you know, stand behind, you know, a camera and say, oh, you know, I don't know why people are spending this kind of money on this doll. They all look the same. Unless you actually saw those dolls in person. Yeah, it's kind of not fair to say that because even I have been shocked on some things um, both ways in a good way and a bad way. Like I, you know, so yeah. And then it's when it comes to silicone, there's the feeling the the of how they feel, how they pose, how they, you know, like I said, how they, how flexible they are, you know, just a whole lot of stuff that goes in even deeper into silicone. Silicone is, is the hardest, I'll be honest, it's the hardest medium to shop for. So, um, because there's so much that I don't care how many photos, how many videos you get, you just don't know until you get that doll in your hand. And that is the most heartbreaking feeling when you invested so much money and then it's not what you really wanted or you expected. And I've had that happen to me a few times where I I thought it was going to look a certain way. But in person, it didn't look that way. And I was just like, and not, not even on, it don't even have to be about the painting. It could be just the sculpt itself. Um, I thought I liked the sculpt until I got it in person. Or I thought I liked the painting until I got it in person. And which, you know... And then there's the custom things, which is another risky thing. And I don't know why a lot of new new um, buyers love to go custom route. I think new buyers should definitely go buy it now routes. That's one risk that you can eliminate by just buying what you see and know you like versus taking chances and then it don't come out the way you want it to. And... um. You know, again, that's why I don't, another reason why I don't like to do customs or private orders because what if it don't turn out as good? I've put in all this time and energy and then you don't like it. It, 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 it hurts both ways. It hurts the seller, but I guess it hurts the buyer even more because they're out of the money and then they got a baby that they don't love and the ego and pride of the artist is hurt. And then sometimes, you know, it works out where, you know, they put in all that work and effort and then they don't get paid or whatever the case may be. But anyway, this subject is a never ending subject. You know, when you're going into prices, shopping for dolls, everybody, you know, they have their things, they have their pet peeves. You know, I see people that do a lot of Photoshop. I see a lot of people that take very fuzzy photos, photos from far away. And, you know, just a lot of editing going into their photos. And it it actually bothers me. It kind of irritates my soul when I see this. And I'm not saying that I'm better than anybody. But I have been told by several people, several different high-end artists and everything that I have. I have an eye for color or an eye for, you know, the dolls or whatever. And... I've gotten to a point where sometimes I can see things in photos that a lot of collectors be like, I think it's very dark. Oh, I love that. And I'll be saying to myself, mm -mm, that shit ain't not going to look the same when you get it. I ain't going to get that one. You know, and then it's like sometimes I'll love a baby and love the photos, but I know dang on well, what I see is not what I'm about to get. And I'll be like, no. And then there are times where I see babies that's marked real low that the 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 collectors are passing it by because they think oh it's price cheap that can't be good and I'd be like that artist is a bad mama 
and nobody ain't discovered her yet. I'll take that one. I'll take five on that, Alex. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, yeah, give me that. You know what I mean? And and it's like, boom. You know, it's just like, for instance, I'm going to say this. And I'm not saying that because I think she has a lot of popularity. And I'm not promoting her because, you know, I'm an artist myself. And I'm definitely not going to be like, go buy from her. Don't buy from me. But um, Pickles and Tea, for example... Now, I can't speak on her light skin babies, but this dark skin baby is hella nice, very neat. Just all the, the, the boxes checked on a lot of things um, for me. But a lot of people may be like, oh, she ain't charging, you know, um, she ain't charging proto prototype prices. So her work, it can't be, you know, it, it probably ain't all that. Well, I'm going to tell you this. Kenya look just as good as my Sylvia Creations baby. The painting is on the same, pretty much on the same level. Um, it, when, you, but you're not comparing completely apples to apples, um, because a light skinned baby and a dark skinned baby is different. Um, and that's why I say if you get a light skinned baby, uh, dark skinned babies can be highly detailed too and have a lot going on in them, but mostly you see the light skin babies that have more like they'll put more mottling and veining and um capillaries and all kinds of stuff in the lighter babies than the darker babies because realistic um darker skin babies you don't you know you don't see as much on us like although we do turn red we do you know there is a lot of things that do happen but because of our skin tone you don't see it as as easy as you do with a lighter skin baby and I think you can get away a lot with the darker skin babies because a lot of people you don't have to put as much into them as far as I go but that is not to say that it's not hard to accomplish the um the skin tones like I cannot I'm, I'm telling y'all I, I just cannot do that skin tone of Kenya I cannot do it I cannot do it even when I want to do it I cannot do it I can do a real real dark baby but not that particular skin tone and that alone is something to be proud of and the neat the level of neatness is a whole nother thing like the baby look like it's almost factory made like and not to the point where it don't look realistic. So, and you know, the coloring, the undertone and the actual, you know, the hands of the palms of the hands and the feet, that stuff, you know, it's all that. But guess what? I didn't have to break the bank to go get it. And, you know, when I look at what I'm charging for my dolls, I was like, oh, I'm kind of getting up there in price. But when I look at what some of these other people are charging and then I see what they actually putting in and what they're doing. I don't feel like my prices are that over the top. So for what, you know, I try to do now, like I said, I'm everybody got their strong points and they, you know, you know, and sometimes some babies going to be like that showstopper and some babies going to be like, okay, that's nice, but that's not the showstopper type thing. You know what I mean? So anyway, that is my spill. Another very long video. Again, like I said, guys, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, it's, 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 a, it's a struggle out here for us collectors, but I think that anything is possible if you put your mind to it. And if you really want something bad enough, you're going to get it. Well, I don't know. I ain't going to be able to get no 20, 30. I don't know. I might, but you know, like I said, don't hate on somebody. Don't knock somebody. Don't judge somebody. And the last thing I want to say in another video is again, going very long. I posted my BJD, my new BJD in a BJ in a um a BJD type doll group for the first time and I was really taken back that I actually dealt with somebody. Somebody asked me about the artist, I recommend the artist and then somebody just immediately came in on the post and was like, "Yeah, that's those high price ones and all this stuff." And it was just like she just shut it shut it down. Like it was just like and I felt so bad like I felt like I don't even want to post in that group no more because you know that person just really like price shamed me and the artist like well the you know the artist but I, I'm the one that felt it because it was like made me feel like gosh like you stupid for buying this all you know 
or whatever. And I'm like, the doll wasn't even, I've seen BJDs way more expensive than my Mia. And I was just like, wow. So this happens in other communities as well. So anyway, uh, you don't want nobody to judge you for not um, spending top dollar on your dolls. Don't judge people for spending top dollar on their dolls. That's all I got to say. That is it. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.